Okay, let's start the stopwatch. And we're going. I want to do a short video here uh, on two more atheists that came into our chat room, bless their sweet little hearts, and they lost the debate. Now, if you guys want to know what I'm talking about, look below this video. Let me get in front of this guy right here. Look below this video. Go to shockonnow.net and also go to creation.com forward slash atheism which is right below here and it's got some great resources on how to help people leave the madness of atheism and i want to thank creation.com forward slash atheism for the great work they do at helping people leave the madness of atheism they truly love those that are stuck in the atheist worldview which does not make any sense so listen to this uh, what happened last night? Um, why this guy decides which lane he wants to be in. Oh, he's on the cell phone. I'm sorry to interrupt him. Let's go around. Um, listen to this. Uh, last night, right below here at shockonow.net, in the chat room, two atheists came in. Two of them. Count them. One, two. And the, athe the first atheist was pretty easy to shoot down in a debate. Bless his sweet little heart. He said, it, I said, go ahead and prove that atheism is true, and I'll prove that Christianity is true. And if you got, guys want to see my proof that Christianity is true, at the end of this video, you'll see an annotation. Click it. I did about a two-hour long radio show, which proved Christianity is true. So I got two hours of information I'm going to give you, but let's talk about how the atheist two atheists not one but two atheists lost the, the debate and let's pick up some speed here I'm going to get some throttle and get over here the first atheist was very easy to shoot down he said well I could prove God doesn't exist because it's impossible for God to be all-knowing and all-loving and I'm like okay how is it impossible and then that's all he had <laughs> You atheist, God bless you. You gotta learn how to debate. You can't just state opinion. You have to state facts, proof, evidence. Because then, look at this nice avalanche. Okay, back to what I'm saying. Because then I can just say, no, my opinion is you're wrong and we both just have opinion. And I would admit that I need to provide more than opinion, which I did provide two hours I think it's over two hours of proof and evidence, history, science, archaeological proof, extra biblical proof, you name it. Right here at the end of this video, you'll see an annotation, click it. But then the second atheist came in and he got embarrassed so bad because people in the chat room were laughing at him after I, well, humbly speaking, after he was destroyed in debate. <clears throat> and everyone started laughing at him, so he started cussing me out you effing Christian and all this stuff and all I said all I asked him was this but because he got tricked into admitting that God exists <laughs> so here's how I did it and I just basically asked him a simple question he could have answered it any way he want but he admitted the atheist agnostic he admitted God exists so here's how you trip up an atheist in a debate and you know we only do it because we love them we want them to to face reality atheism the worldview of atheism folks listen it's like a clown you know like a clown at the circus and sometimes you have to get the clown by the scruff of his neck and drag him over to the mirror in all his polka dot outfit glory and have him look at himself in front of the mirror when the clown opens his eyes and you say Look at yourself, like look at what you're saying. When the clown looks at himself and all his big red hair, big red nose, big giant floppy shoes, polka dot outfit, glory, they realize that atheism was always a clown and it didn't know it. So it's our job as Christians to lovingly, patiently show them that they're not a clown, but they're in the clown suit of atheism. And we're going to help them out of their clown suit because they don't want to be a clown. You don't want to be a clown, do you? Okay, so let me show you how I helped this 
atheist diagnostic eye out of his clown suit that he was wearing. See, let me set the stage for you. Atheists sometimes are so angry at God that they'll curse God and bash God, and then they realize that in doing so, they're actually admitting God exists. <laughs> so they'll say, oh, yeah, but he doesn't exist. And we all know that that's <laughs> bizarre. I've never once done a video saying, those damn unicorns, those damn leprechauns. But atheists always do videos bashing God. Now, have you noticed they never bash Satan? You'll never see an atheist video bashing Satan. All the videos on YouTube are bashing God. You know why? Because even atheists know it's impolite to bash your father. So let's, let's continue with how this atheist got destroyed in a debate and he realized that he was in the clown outfit. I asked him... All right, we can pick up speed. I asked him... See, I want him to it to show his true colors, right? And I want him to say what he really thinks. He was saying God is evil and all this stuff. So I, I, I go, okay, let me ask him this. If I can get this atheist to say that his opinion is God is evil, how could something, how could God be evil? How could he really believe God's evil if God doesn't exist? Things that don't exist can't be evil. And this is where we get the atheist. So I asked the atheist to pick up more throttle here, because I got to punch through here. Hold on, guys. Okay, so I asked the atheist, because I don't want him to realize what I'm doing. I want him to slip up and show his true colors of his heart that he's angry at God. And I did it. He fell for it. He had he admitted God exists. So I asked him. When God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, I think he was good and just and very good to do so. Because that town, those towns were corrupt. You remember how the, the men of Sodom wanted to rape the angel that went there? I mean, that's not good. God protected them. So I said, I believe it was good that God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. And I believe that God was good, holy, and just when he destroyed the earth well I should say the earth because it's still here but when he uh, destroyed parts of the earth the people of the earth the corrupt people of the earth with the worldwide flood because he didn't destroy all the people because we know Noah survived etc so here's where the atheist slips up and everyone starts laughing and he gets so mad really at himself that he slipped up in debate he starts cussing me out using the F word, saying, you effing Christian, how could you trick me, and all this stuff. <laughs> it was bizarre. So here's where he messes up. You ready for this? This is so good. Everyone's in there. By the way, you can go there right now. There's people in there now debating right here below, shockadow.net. I say, was God evil or good for destroying uh, the earth with the flood? Remember how he judged the earth with the flood, you know, the people on the earth. And without missing a beat, he goes, well, he was evil for doing that. And I said, well, thank you for playing. <laughs> Game over. You just admitted God exists. And everyone started typing LOL in the chat room and people were busting up laughing because they knew it was true. And they're like, you did. You, how could God be evil if he doesn't exist? And the guy, the atheist agnostic guy, I'm saying atheist agnostic because if you're watching, dude, you know who you are. That's what you said. You said that you're an atheist agnostic. So he's kind of skeptical about his atheism. It's just madness. But the dude went ballistic and he started cussing me out, dropping the F-bomb and everything. I mean, it was bizarre. You effing Christian, how could you trick me like that? I go, all I did was ask you a question and you answered it. You tricked yourself by being an atheist. Now, Here's the annotation at the end of this video. Click it, and for two hours, I believe it's two hours, I provide proof, evidence, logic, science, archeological proof, data, a gazillion different pieces of proof and evidence that proves atheism is a bunch of cow manure, but Christianity is true. Right here on the annotation, I'll also put the link below, you can click it. 
So God bless you guys. Have a great week. I'll see you in the chat room. And atheists, when you come in, I'm going to ask you. <laughs> I'm going to ask you. Was God good or evil to judge the people of Sodom? Make sure you're ready with an answer. Anyways, that's two atheists down. Two atheists lost the debate. Actually, every atheist that comes in the room always loses the debate. It's not because I'm so skilled in debating or the other theists in the room are skilled. It's because when you're on the side of truth, you'll always win. Like, you know, Martin Luther King said, even if you crush truth to the ground, it will rise again. And no lie can live forever. <laughs>